it's for power, for enablement in the place of prayer. We don't know what to pray about, but the Spirit affects our infirmity in the groanings, which cannot be altered. Tonight, we pray that something, O oh God, with the divine, divine strength, divine power, divine enablement, we descend heavily upon us even tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So at this time, I want to begin to go before the Lord. We will ask him and begin to thank him, begin to worship him, and begin to praise his holy name. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord. Let's begin to worship the name of the Lord. Let's begin to exalt, adore him, reverence him. Give him praise, give him honor, give him adoration. Yes, he is wonderful, glorious God, excellent God, beautiful God, great God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let's worship the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah, amen, amen, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, hallelujah, amen, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise the Lord. Praise him, praise him, hallelujah, amen. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise the Lord, praise him, praise him, hallelujah, amen. Let's begin to worship the name of the Lord and glorify the Lord, exalt the Lord, praise the Lord, adore the Lord, reverence the Lord and magnify his holy name. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the bright and the morning star, the root of Jesse, the, the one who had been from time immemorial. Give him thanks, give him praise, give him honor, give him adoration. Worship him for all that he has been doing. Worship him for this platform, on behalf of uh, this platform, what he's doing on this platform, answer for prayer on this platform, the great thing he has wrought in the life of many family, many homes, and many that have been prayed for, and the Lord intervened. Several testimony that have been shared on this platform. Let's thank the Lord. Let's thank the Lord. Let's thank the Lord. Let's honor the Lord. Let God be the Lord. Glory and adoration be unto our God. Exalt him. Exalt him. Exalt him. Exalt him. Amen. 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 I want to go before the Lord tonight and ask the Lord that tonight the Lord is spending us in the place of prayer. We will not pray like tired people, or we will pray like strengthened people, or we will pray like people who have been strengthened by the Lord, strengthened by the Most High, strengthened by the supernatural God. Let's pray and say, Father. Strengthen us to pray tonight, energize us to pray tonight, quicken us to pray tonight, revive us to pray tonight, rejuvenate us to pray tonight, revive our heart, refresh our heart, help us to pray tonight, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Spirit of the living God, come heavily, come supremely, come supernaturally. In the name of Jesus Christ, Spirit of the living God, I'm praying, I'm asking, 
and I'm calling upon your name in the name of Jesus, in the precious name of the Lord Jesus, by the Spirit, by the power of the living God, by the Spirit of the living God, by the power of the living God. Tonight, O oh God, give me the grace, strength, and the power to wait on you, to seek thy face, and to call upon thy name. Lord Jesus, I come to you, O God, that you will descend heavily upon me tonight. Come, Holy Spirit of God, strengthen my inner man. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. We are going to pray. We are going to amen. pray. The we are praying tonight uh, for various things. We will pray for the nations of the world. We will pray for Nigeria. We will pray for GCK. We will pray for everyone. We will pray for our leaders. And we will pray for their family. We want to go before the Lord as we read scripture in the Bible. The scripture tells us something in John chapter 14. I read John chapter 14 and verse 14. John chapter 14, the book of John chapter 14, I'm reading in verse 14. The Lord Jesus Christ was the one speaking and let me take it from verse 12. In verse 12, the Lord Jesus was speaking and he says something. Um, he's sorry, I'm trying to open here. Chapter 14, yes. Verse 12. Okay, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also and greater works than they shall he do, because I go unto my father. Obviously, Jesus has gone to his father, and the work that he didn't do, the miracle he didn't uh, perform, and he didn't experience in his time, he said, we are going to do something greater. Verse 13, he said, and whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the father may be glorified in the son. Verse 14, if you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. He said, if you shall ask anything in my name, I, God, I, Christ, will do it. I will do anything you ask in my name. And that's the assurance tonight that we have, that if we ask anything in the name of Christ, is going to do it. Amen? And so... With that confidence that we have, that anything we ask tonight, whatever we ask in his name, as I read in 1 John chapter 5, I read verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. So tonight, the assurance is that whatever we are asking should be in accordance to god's will if it is not the will of god god is not under obligation to hear never never you cannot force god to hear because that is not in in accordance to his will but if it is in accordance to his will that's why we'll be checking up our prayer point to make sure that they are in accordance to the will of God. As long as they are in accordance to the will of God, then it's going to hear. The last place I will read tonight, please just permit me to read all this scripture, uh, is to gain and to build confidence in all that God answers prayer. In 1 John chapter 3, in verse 22. 1 John chapter 3, verse 22. The scripture gives... Uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 22. 
And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandment and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. He said, well, whatsoever we ask of him, we receive. So anything we are going to ask tonight, the reason we will receive is that the scripture says that we are doing things that are pleasing in his sight. I want to go before God tonight and pray for all our pastors and leaders that God will help each of us, first and foremost, this is the first prayer point, to live lives that are pleasing unto God. We will live lives that are pleasing unto God. Please, are you praying? Lives that are pleasing unto God. There are lives that are pleasing to God. There are lives that are not pleasing to God. Oh Lord, help me not to offend you. Help me not to be a disobedient pastor, a disobedient preacher, a disobedient leader, a disobedient servant of yours. Help me, Lord, to live life that pleases you. Let my life please you. Let my conversation please you. Let my devotion please you. Let my giving please you. Let my lifestyle please you. Let my ask oh, Jesus. Let my life be a picture of you. Let my life be a picture of you. Let it be a letter written by your head for the world to see. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let my life be pleasant to you. The scripture says, Whatsoever we ask of Him, we receive, because we do those things that are pleasing to the Yes, we will do things that are pleasing in his sight. A pastor can be preaching every now and then, and yet is an offender before God. And yet is not pleasing God. He is preaching to others, and he is asked query to answer before God. He is preaching to other people, and yet he is an issue to settle before God. Oh God, let our life please you. Let our life please you. Let our existence please you as leaders. Thank let you, our in the name of Jesus we will not live life just the way it is, we will live life to glorify you. Look at what Jesus said, it's our perfect example. Look at what our perfect example said in John 8 and in 28. Then Jesus said, Jesus unto them, when he have lifted us, his son of man, shall ye know that I am he. And I do nothing of myself, but as my father has taught me, I speak this thing. Oh my God. Verse 29. And he that sent me is with me, and the father has not left me alone. For I do always those things that please him. My God. This is my plea tonight that I will do things that are pleasing to God every now and then. The scripture say, because I do things that please me. Jesus was speaking. Oh, let me please you. Oh, to please the Lord. Oh, to please the Lord. To please Him in every area. Almighty God, everlasting Father. Privilege, oh God, I honor you. Mighty God, everlasting Father God, thank you for the privilege of coming to pray to seek your face. Thank you, Father, once again, oh Lord. Almighty God, everlasting Father God, hear this night, oh God, to present my life unto you, King of Glory. Amen. Now, as I've read to you from John 14, 12 to 14, and I read to you first John chapter 5, verse 14, and I read to you John chapter 3, first John 3, verse 22. Everything was pointing to asking and receiving, and we saw the conditional thing that we need to put in play, and we have prayed now. We believe that henceforth, 
we will live lives that are pleasing to God every now and then, 24 7. Every day, every moment, we will please God in Jesus' name. Mm. Now, now pray. Now we cannot seek the Lord. We want to go before God now and pray for Syria and Turkey. We could see the, that the earthquake was so terrible and so terrific. I'm sure mm. you, you saw the earthquake, you saw how stories upon story building were being mm. wiped down the earthquake. Lies mm. being lies being wasted. And this is not something of last year, just this new year. And then as you look at the world, you wonder, you just wonder what is happening around the world. What is the way that the God of people will show say to this country have mentioned? And other countries in the world that are experiencing disaster, that are experiencing hurricane, that are experiencing tornado, that are experiencing tsunami, that are experiencing earthquake. Let the Lord show mercy. Lies are just reporting the insanity of the day. Lies are reporting the end of the day. Lies are going to insanity of the day. Oh God, show mercy. Oh God, deliver. Let's stop this Hell and the large and hell. Hell will be swallowed to us and tell them to eternal punishment forever. Let the Lord show upon the world upon the nations of the world write us god look at this present situation oh god in Turkey and syria these are souls that jesus christ died for Heavenly Father, God, we need your help, O oh Lord. Please let your mercy prevail, O oh God. Let your mercy prevail, O oh King of glory. Let's let pray for intervention, O oh God. Let's pray for mercy. Let's beg oh the Lord. Lord. In your mercy, O oh God, oh and in all this form of evil, every form of evil, God. We know the scripture says that you have told us that in the end time, there'll be a lot of, you know, disaster, earthquake, famine, difficulties, challenges here and there. Oh Lord, we are still begging, we're still pleading, oh God, arise, oh God, and show us your mercy. In arise, Jesus. Oh God, and let your mercy be for us in Jesus' name, amen. We want to pray for Ukraine and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Russia. Our we have a child, a son in the in the in Ukraine, and he has been there, his school there, and uh, even did this. Uh, he has finished, and now he even had uh, this thing over there and all that. And uh, the father was not hearing much on the social media. It does not mean the war has ended. No, war is still ongoing and all that. Want to pray? There will be complete and total end to war. There will be Amen. complete total end to war. We say no to what? We say no to life being wasted. Oh, God, we no. everlasting Father, God still wants to give. We are begging for mercy. Lord, we are we are pleading, and pleading and pleading and pleading and pleading, oh God. Almighty oh, God, what can we do without you? What can we do without you, God of heaven, oh Lord? Put an end, oh God, to all these killings, all this warfare going on, oh Lord. All the clashes, all the confusion, all the destruction of lives and properties, oh Lord, put an end to it, oh God. Father, God, let your mercy overrule. Let your mercy overrule, oh God of heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Jeez. God, my Father, go to the root of the problem and intervene, oh God, in hey. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray for the U.S., we want to ask the Lord in the name of Jesus, if you check the story and the history of that country, the U.S. Now to start with, it was George Washington that opened, that began as the first president. And uh, in those days, the U.S. we have to depend on God besides a war. So we have to depend on God. That people in God will trust. It wasn't just for Joe, it was for real. 
And before they depended so much on God, there were not some of their children that they never took the Bible. They never educated the Bible to the background. As a matter of fact, some of their president admitted that uh, if you don't have a knowledge of the Bible, you have suffered something, something that you wait. They felt that a knowledge of the Bible was more than any college in the world whatsoever. And because they gave place to the Bible, and then along the line, in oh, 1960 something, at a particular year, there was a serious, serious thing. And then they were kicking the Ten Commandments. They were kicking they all this teaching in government school and government parties and all that. And they were to relegate God to the Bible. After those scenarios and all that, what were we hearing? So, yes, a young man can enter his school and just shoot people. They can call it bipolar disorder. They can call it all kinds of things. Oh, and then the young man can even shoot himself. After shooting people here and there, a lot of things began to show. A lot of things began to show itself to show that any nation that relegates God or abandon God, this is the end result. We want to pray. And say, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, all the abnormality, all the evil, all the decadence in the country, God will raise up another Nehemiah. God will raise up people in those nations. God will raise up men that will bring in refreshment, revival, a change. Oh Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, great God, everlasting Father, we look unto you, God, concerning the situation, oh God, even in America and U.S., oh Lord, blessed Father, God Almighty, masking my Father, God, you have peace a nation, oh God, that is beloved of his God, but Lord, at the moment they have gone astray, they have gone back, oh Lord, into their vomit, Lord, we are pleading and praying, oh God. Let there be a divine intervention from you, God. Let there be a divine intervention, O God. Lord, raise up, O God, spiritual leaders, O God, my Father, that will bring about revival, O God, even into that nation, O Father, God. Raise up another belegram. O Lord, raise up another belegram. O Lord, raise up another belegram. O Lord, raise up another belegram. Father, God, that to raise up, O God of heaven, another Another minister, another evangelist of God, like Billy Graham, and so many other ministers of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are praying, O oh God, let there be a divine intervention, O oh God. Let Jesus, there be intervention, O oh God. We pray. Amen. In Psalm 122, we are reading from verse um, 6 or so. Let me check. Uh, yes, it should be verse 6. Psalm 122. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. We want to pray for Nigeria. It said, peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and Companion's sake, I will now say, praise be, be within thee. I want mm. to pray for Nigeria. Yes. Any nation where there is no war, uh, where there is no peace, that nation cannot make a substantial uh, good. Uh, mm. If you watch Somalia, for example, what Somalia, what Syria, such nation cannot go except God intervene. You know why? It is because when you find a nation where there is always chaos, investors cannot come. Never, mm. never, never. You can yeah. never attract investors. You know why mm. people will want to put their money in Switzerland, put their money in those countries because of peace. Have you mm. had? I mean, have you heard of a uh, war, whatever, any any kind of thing in such country? Country like Switzerland, country like Netherlands. All those countries, you just find you do you hardly read all these negative things. You even I even read of a country in particular 
whether they had to, the police were not even doing it because there were no cases as such to judge. There were no cases. Mm. Prisoner to even get prisoners is, uh, in fact, you, you almost wonder, is it preacher or whatever? And you just wonder, such a nation, nation that you, uh, you can almost count the rate of crime and order. But look at Nigeria now. You dare not, you, you, even in the house of God, was it not in the house of God? Somebody picked my wife's phone last week, Sunday, in the combined service at the yeah, estate yeah, estate. Yeah. an Android phone, and he picked the old post and ran away and told mm. the person and went with the phone and went so far. And then mm. we put a prayer, and the Holy Ghost went into action. And they, the people the boy was to sell the phone to, they heard him, they didn't buy the phone, they heard the boy instead, mm. and then they began coming. I uh, began to call somebody, and then from there they got to me, and then I had to go. Look at the distance from where the boy picked the phone and the community where I went to find my phone, the phone, my wife's phone. So if God had not intervened, that boy would have gone with that phone, and it would have been another issue, raising money here and there to buy another smartphone and all of that. So you can imagine. So the level of decadence in Nigeria, corruption, an average Nigerian or state is corrupt, dirty, immoral, evil. And that, that, that's the system. That's what the system has taught everybody. Look at the little POS issue and the cashless economy. Look at how people are. That same Sunday, I was to withdraw 5,000. Somebody was charging me 1,250 naira for common 5,000 naira. And he managed to remove 5,000 naira mm -hmm. and to let me 1,200 out of 5,000. That's appalling. That's so much appalling. So everybody wants to utilize anything to just exploit and to steal and to do anything. That's what the system has taught the people who want to cry unto God. First and foremost, from the religious angle, the Lord will show mercy. How many pastors there are that have become corrupted? Many have become polluted. Many have become immoral. Many have lost their voice because of secret sin. Many have lost their voice because of compromise. Let the Lord begin from the house of God and show mercy. Let's pray for the house of God. The church ought to be the voice for the nation. Haven't we lost the voice in the place? Do we still have our voice? Look at the way they relegate. Look at the way they make a caricature and all that. Let the Lord show mercy on the church, the church of Nigeria. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray and tell the Lord tonight and ask the Lord concerning the situation of our country. Now we are praying for the church in Nigeria and that God will show mercy where we have lost our voice, where sin has come in, where compromise has come in, where iniquity has come in, where unrighteousness has come in, and the church can no longer detest so many things. 
We want to go before God now and pray. Elections are coming. We have the presidential election on the 25th. We have the, 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 the governorship election on the 11th. And like that, like that, like that, and the House of Web, and that's of Assembly, and the rest of them, Senate, who want to pray and say, oh God, there will be peace all over. You see prophecy here and there, and you see declaration and all kinds of visions who are praying that there will be no bloodletting. It's a declaration there will be no bloodletting. Every plan to, do, to, to cause any bloodletting everywhere and different places, let the Lord circumvent, let the Lord prevent. God will prevent, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the Spirit of God, by the power of God, by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Spirit of the living God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Please talk to God in prayer. So, what happens talk to when God. you're in trouble against time? We pray for Nigeria, the government of the Lord Jesus, 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 the government of the Lord in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray that men that delight in war, men that are strategizing for war, men that are planning for war, men that are saying, oh, this is what they will do. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the power of the living God shall scatter them, expose them, and destroy their plans. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Jesus, Lord, oh, the Lord, the people who are in the Lord, and to the people the power and the blood of Jesus has been scattered all the part of the In the name of Jesus Christ. The power and the blood of Jesus will be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, 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 you are going to scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. All the evil planning, all the devil planning, all the thought of evil by the power and the blood of Jesus. Lord, Lord, you are going to scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you will take that control. Lord, 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 you will take that control. Lord, you will take that control. Lord, you will to the control. Almighty for that people, the problem. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that Nigeria will rise from the current state. As many powers that are put in place, as many agents and personality say no, Nigeria will remain in this quagmire state. In this death state, in this stretch, in fact, this current state is terrible. We want to pray in the name of Jesus. Their plan and their covenant is destroyed and shattered tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, Nigeria will rise. Nigeria will rise. Nigeria will rise. Let's talk to God in prayer. Please make a declaration over Nigeria. You are servant of God. Make declaration. Over the Nigeria and we rise in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father, you will raise Nigeria up in the name of Jesus Christ. In God, can you go to raise Nigeria up in the name of Jesus Christ? Mighty Power and the Lord Jesus Nigeria, we rise in the name of Jesus Christ. In God, can you go to raise Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ? Mighty Father, we are the power of the Lord go to raise Nigeria up in the name of Jesus Christ. Hello, Lord, let go to raise Nigeria up in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father, we are the power you will deliver Nigeria. I will Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. In God, the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Nigeria, in the name of Jesus Christ. And your name is going to be glorified. And your name is going to be glorified. And your name. 
and your name is going to be revealed. The power and the blood of Jesus that you will be dead to the control in the name of Jesus. No, 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 you will be dead to the control in the name of Jesus. No, no, can you be dead to the control in the name of Jesus. No, Jesus is going to rest in the name of Jesus. No matter the situation, no matter the journey. No, 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 I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. No, 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 Jesus is going to rest in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We want to pray and tell the Lord. We want to ask the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The current cash economy. We want to pray that and tell the Lord and cry unto God in the suffering of the people. You know, if you look at the old thing, when the old thing started, I was like, eh. Uh, it will favor Nigeria, blah, blah, blah. It will favor us. It will favor this one. It will favor that one and all that. So we felt, okay, and the politician will be caught. <laughs> oh, as we saw it again, power change and everything changed. And then we began, some people began to come up with different things. And some, somebody had gone with bullet van days. Some, I don't even like all those stories because they, they are called single stories, stories that I'm not too sure of. And then I don't go into all those kind of story uh, where I will not begin to think of restitution and all that. But the point here is this, that whatever they think, whatever they are doing, whatever they are planning, whatever they are strategizing, whatever is their orchestration concerning this country, the cashless economy or whatsoever, as long as it's not in consonance, conformity with the will of God, the God of heaven will scatter that plan. If that plan is demonic, if their motive is evil, they will just discover that they are scattered. What does the scripture tell us? The adversary shall be broken in pieces. Adversary of the Lord, adversary of the people of God. They shall be broken. In the name of Jesus, the God of heaven will spoil them. As they are planned to spoil Nigeria, destroy Nigeria, God will expose them. In the name of Jesus, and Nigeria will become better for it. Nigeria will become better. Our economy will come alive. Our political affairs will become alive. All the dead, dead area education will come alive. All the different areas that needs to rise will rise in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? In the name of Jesus, the Almighty for the economy of Nigeria will become better in the name of Jesus. As I hand up tonight, we are praying for the GCK. I want to, I want Pastor Matthew to have some time to lead us. I want us to pray for the GCK in the name of Jesus that the GCK will go well. Yeah, this is the first GCK outside the country. It will be the talk of the town. It will be something that God instead will show himself so mighty. We will see God in action. We will see God in his fullness. We will see God in his power. We will see God in his majesty, glory, and honor. The Lord will so renew his servant, empower his servant, quicken his servant, strengthen his servant, energize his servant. Oh, that the Lord will spend in him. Oh, that the Lord will renew his strength. Oh, that the Lord will energize him. Oh, that the Lord will fire him up. Oh, that the Lord will quicken him up. Oh, that the Lord will ah in the name of Jesus. Please pray. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Prayer point is a prayer point for my younger brother. He's not so fine. Uh, he has been having issue with his health. You know, uh, this thing they call tuberculosis, and we have been treating, took him to private hospital, and all that. Some tests were conducted, and all that. And then his body, who he was with me today, came to visit, and all that. I prayed with him. I want us to pray and tell the Lord that his health will be perfected. All those cough in the night, and all that, and every other thing, the Lord will perfect concerning his health. His health will become stable, his health will become fine. The Lord will show him mercy. And healing perfectly and totally. Today you are healed. Today you are delivered. Today you are delivered. The Lord show you mercy tonight. You will sleep like a baby tonight. You will sleep like a baby. The Lord will reveal His mercy unto you. All those tiredness in your body, the Lord take them away, and the Lord heal you perfectly. Thank you, Father. 
in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Uh, one is there you can hand off and say pastor matthew takes over if you are still online sir uh, praise the lord um, praise the lord oh, uh, uh, there's something i want us to pray about and then i want us to ready to receive the power and then pastor your man you ready to run off for us by the power and the blood of jesus christ um when god wanted to send the people i say i didn't know that we will have been the best prophet among the prophet that was around along the line he was sent peter was there among the 12 you will be surprised that oh declaration came from him that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And God said, On you, I will build. Uh, how did he say it, please? Upon you, upon you I will. My gate of earth shall not prevail. And the gate of earth shall not prevail. Thank you, God bless you, sir. Sometimes my brain fail me. And then Gideon was contemplating why should you choose me? We are the least of the tribe of Benjamin. Along the line, what happened? Gideon was chosen to deliver the Israelite from Midianites. My dear brother, my dear sister, if we keep praying for another big Billy Graham, we are deceiving ourselves. Tell me what makes Billy Graham, Billy Graham desire. Ah, I read one book that. Uh, they went on a discussion or something like that. And then he got to a place whereby a great evangelist, I forgot the name of the evangelist. Uh, and then they showed that uh, the the why the man kneeled down that was praying. Uh, I can't, I don't want to, uh, it seems like, I don't know if I missed it up or something like that. But where the man was praying, Billy Graham saw the, the nail on the on the floor. So he asked the question, what is that? Somebody told me. And then he leaned down there on that place that God, as you use this man, use me. And God used him more than that. Uh, what am I trying to say? What character Billy Graham have that many of us we do not have? Both in Nigeria and in America and then in the world. And then by the grace of the law, we have been under the administration of GS for long. And we have been saying, he has always been praying with sincerity of mind that God produce among these people somebody like me. You will see, he said, like father, like son. Then talk of another all financial area. Uh, by the grace of the law, I've seen the uh, Pastor Yomi is endeavor and then uh, all the state he is. Uh, what makes those people that great in that environment that the, that quality is not in Pastor Yomi? You get what I'm saying? That it, that can make him great uh, in that state. I've seen many of us, uh, including your humble servants here. But what I know is this, what your brain is thinking about is what you carry out. What your sense is thinking about is what you carry out. If you are looking for cause that I want to be a big evangelist, we will continue to continue to be a big evangelist. Uh, if you are continuing thinking, I want to be a millionaire in this area, you will continue thinking, I want to be a millionaire, and you will be working towards it. Because uh, the, uh, somebody told me, it's a psychologist, said, uh, anything you're able to think in your brain, that's me, your ability, you have the ability to carry that particular things out. You get what I'm saying? That anything you're able to think, and then for little, little example, let me bring out the... Uh, 
uh, Pastor Yomi as a good example. Okay, you are thinking that you want to have a very big soul, and you have been thinking towards it, and then you will even announce on the Facebook that people from another another uh, country they should engage their children in your school through mm -hmm. online. That you are going because and then too, little by little you have, I, I remember one day we are talking i'm very sorry then you mentioned the salary that individual one person is paying for you to teach that particular child is more than the salary somebody is earning as a monthly salary you get what i'm saying i don't want to be making myself a, a, a example so that i will not be like like pride too but what am I trying to say? I want us to ready to receive that power today. We are Billy Graham of these words, of this generation. In your home, in your environment, in your state, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I'm not exaggerating. We are representing WF Kumui. We are the WF Kumuyi of that world, of that state. You are the WF Kumuyi of your house. You are the Billy, you are the Billy Graham of your house. So it is not the matter of Almighty God a lie. You know, uh, we are in child lot of Through our program, many people know GS here. But I remember when one church organization wrote me, then they, they wrote my name as a GS. Before I started telling them that I'm not I'm not the I'm, I'm not the GS. What uh -huh. am I trying to say? I'm I'm serious. The uh, I forgot the my uh, because of me, I don't know where I'm a lot of things failing me now. They all then uh, call me uh, Pastor Kumoyi, Pastor Kumoyi. Auntie, I told them I'm not Pastor Kumoyi. Just because of what you know, today we have shown GS in TV. If I have time, you will see. Go if you see my YouTube, go and go and put uh, Pastor Kumuyi on uh, Channel Three TV or something like that. You will see a lot of messages we have shown on GS today. They saw Bible study of last week. They they show it. GS has never been here. I don't even think you know you know Channel Three. I don't even think, I, I doubt it. Only one time I have the opportunity of meeting GS, and then I said no, because the reason I wanted to meet him, they wanted me to meet him on that day, I don't, uh, it's like, if they told me to do something, why on TGS said I should do it, I will do it. That would have been the greatest opportunity. But if you look at a lot of things God have done through us, my church member, they never seen GS face to face. They don't know anybody more than GS. I won't deceive you. They don't know what I have a member. I, I'm going somewhere. We have a little time. I'm we have a member is attending our church. His sister is in the uh is uh, she is uh, uh she is in uh, North Carolina, about four hour or five hour journey to our place. Anytime we print Bible at line that what Pastor Israel said to us, he will print that another Bible at line or take extra and he will send it to his sister in North Carolina. He will send it to the, the, our Bible outline. He will send it to this. G has never known that particular, particular person. So, so uh, what I want to say this morning, and which I want us to pray, Father, give me power. I'm the Billy Graham of this generation. Do not underscore yourself. Do not think you cannot do it. You are WF Kumuyi of the data state. In your except, except you fail, except you fail God, except you fail the servant of the Lord, and by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will not fail them in Jesus' name. We have been anointed, Amen. we have been anointed, we have been given the grace. What else do we want? Except that we continue to call upon the name of the Lord, the Father or me, make me the rock on which you will build your house, and the gate of the air will not prevail. God Amen. made me Isaiah. If you don't pray like that, when do you want to get to that pub? You get what I'm saying? What is what is delaying us from 
for shaking the world. What is delaying us? And the Bible lets us say, ask and you shall be given. So I want us to change our mind, our, our thinking, uh, the way we are thinking. That God will use somebody else instead of us. If anybody, look at our age. If God wants to raise somebody now, it will be somebody we are older than. So what is the essence of all the years we have been using? Use at all these mega churches in the United States. Now go and look at their age. Look at this uh, this man that took over from his father after his father died, died, died. What is his age? So let us change our thinking. Uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to say thinking faculty in my language like an insult. But the way we think, let us continue to think higher. You go, look, look at GCK. See the way they started. Look at the way it's going. Let's say GS, it does not continue to enlarge its vision. So we will continue to be in the Baghdad. We will continue to be in Nigeria. But look at the way GCK is going now. Everybody is talking about it. We are talking about it now. You get what I'm saying? So let us change our let us continue to ask God, Almighty oh, Father, empower me. Mighty you God, all your Almighty life. Empower Father, me. You don't need the money. You don't need you just need mercy. Oh, you just Lord, need mercy. Father, Lord, he does not have any God, money God, there. He doesn't go to a, a Pentecostal God, church Father, and God use God, him. God is the power. He cannot God cannot use us financially. God cannot God, use us materially. God cannot oh, use us physically. Let's oh, call upon the name God, of the Lord. Father, empower me. Father, empower me. And Lord, that WF, who would you say? That's not the thing. That's not the thing for God to do. Make me another Billy Graham. Make me another this, another this. In this world, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. And you are we build the house. And the gates of the hell will not prevail. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, oh, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I depend upon your grace. I depend upon your grace. I depend upon your mercy. I depend upon your grace. Let your work come out of me. Oh, mighty Father, on me, build the house. The gate of the earth will not prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. What else do you need? And God says you don't do. Drinking you don't do. It's uh, it's what is it's what producing money. It's God that will give you money. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, I pray by the power and light your course and light your future. You are the one God is going to use to bail out Nigeria. You are the one God is going to use to bail out the world. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, I am. Use me. Oh, God, Lord, King of King, here I am. Use me. Let it start from my family. Let it start from my state. Let it start from my local government. Let it start. Do not let the awful beginning. Call upon the name of the Lord, the Almighty Father. I surrender myself. 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 By the power in the blood. Yes, I can use me, Olo. Yes, I can use me, Olo. Yes, I can use me, Olo. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified, my life. I surrender myself. I surrender myself. Make me a sire of this generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Make me be the name of this generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Make me a sire of this generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Is that impossible? possible? Is that is impossible? Is that is impossible? Is that is impossible? Is that is impossible? It's not by mighty. It's not by your holiness. It's not by it's not by your how you can do it. It's not by your knowledge. It's not by your wisdom. It's not by your understanding. It's not by the grace of the Lord. It's not by the grace of the Lord. It's not by the grace of the Lord. One land is all of well along here. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, select me, O Lord. Give up the select me, O Lord. Use me, O Lord. Use me for the glorification of your name. Use me for glorification of your name. Give me humility. Oh, my father, use oh, me, oh Lord. Use me as you use as I am. Use me as you are using your servant. Use me as you use Gideon. Oh, my father, in this generation, give me a kiss. Use me, oh Lord. Use me, oh Lord. Use me, oh Lord. Use me, oh Lord. Use me for the blood of this nation. You are not born. If they say, if you are using as a life of your local government, then you are not going to continue like this. The rest of them will end. The rest of them will end. Lord, God will use you, God will use me. God will use you, God will use me. God will use me. Oh, my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use me, oh Lord. And let your name be glorified in my life. And let your name be glorified in my life. I surrender myself unto you. I surrender all myself unto you. I surrender all myself unto you. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear brother, my dear, my dear father and the Lord, there's nothing, just, let us stop thinking narrowly. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, God, you do this, you do that particular, but what about you? What are you doing? What else? Mm -hmm. What else do you need for God to use you? What else? By the mm -hmm. power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will change our everything, negativity in our life in Jesus' name. And from us, we send power and we will receive the power to carry on the assignment for his glory and the, of the glory of his name in Jesus' name. So shall he be. Amen. So, my dear, please think something thinking. Somebody else can do it. What else can do it? What, 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 what about you? And that's why we are having short vision. Because we don't see ourselves as a great somebody, as a great people. The God, of the God that Lord will continue to be upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to make an example. I just look at GCK and I say, Oh God, I mean, you know, it may be God that revealed it to me, but let me just, how, what will I do? I don't know. I don't know. The thought just came to my mind. And you know, I decided that for every nation in the world, there are 154 countries. In the, I'm very sorry to say this. But I want us to be, you know, is that that song when Pastor Moro visited us and then he saw our church? He was so surprised. So, this is the name of the church I've been hearing. You are not more than 12, all of you. And then he saw somebody just drinking coffee, coffee, coffee. I told you the nature of my church. And then he said, Now you call me. Uh, you know that song? Little, just say something, little, something. Little I forgot the name. And God is the name. God, God, God bless you. Then he quoted that song for me. Then recently, you know what I did? I start anytime, anytime you see me, and if I'm lying, go and look at my Facebook. You will see where I, I put star, uh, Togo president and then GS. I put them together. You will see where I put uh, uh, GS and the flag of Togo. I put them together. Look at one of them. It may not be all of them. Look at one of them. You will see I'm in B Belarus now. 
Belarus, a part of the United States, has started from A. It's where that is, that Algeria. I don't know why Algeria doesn't have church. You get what? To let you know how I've done my research, Algeria doesn't have church. And I started attaching the name of GCK to every country I've touched. So I'm in Belarus now. So that's me indirectly. By the grace of the Lord, I'm carrying that war to all those countries I've mentioned. There are more than 10 now, foreign country. I started attaching, attaching them. You know, there's vision. So if GS is going around on its own, by the grace of the Lord, I, his boy, I too, I will be carrying his name. And then I you know, and I look at it, God, as I'm doing it, People I know deeper like deeper Bible church more, more and more. And the more they are thinking mm. that uh, we are somebody, we are something before Almighty God. But I'm telling you, maybe five of us or six of us, we are the one that did this service today. You get what I'm saying? And when you hear about our name, you will be surprised. Nobody pay tight except me. Nobody pay tight except me. And you know a lot of challenges yeah, are even faced within. So, and then within that, I only thank God that despite all the challenges, yes, uh, your servant is your, your, your servant. So I want us to be thinking in big way, what, Father, how can you use me? And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to use some multiple in Jesus' name. Resources Amen. we need, little one we need. To able to expand it for the glory of the Lord, God will teach us in Jesus' name, and the name Amen. of the Lord is going to be glorified. Amen. Pastor, you may kindly pray for us, sir. Our Father, we thank you very much. We glorify your holy name for the prayer tonight. Thank you for the revelation. Thank you for the prayer we have raised. Thank you, Lord, for your desire over our lives. Thank you for the prayer for the nations of the world. Thank you, Lord, for the prayer for GCK. Thank you, Lord, for our desire to be used mightily, O God, by you. We are praying, Holy Father, that everything we have told you in the place of prayer, personal prayer, prayer for the nation, prayer for GCK, Lord, prayer request, Holy Father, that we have raised everything, O God, in the precious name of Jesus. We pray that there will be answer beyond answer, there will be execution, O oh God, on our part to pay the price in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But you use us mightily as reformer. You use us mightily as Daniel in Babylon. You amen. Use us, I want us, amen. 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 Professor, this is our life now. Let us say amen. 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 <laughs> amen will not be putting our hands even at this critical time. We ask in our corner, Lord, you help us to fight in the corner and you make us a global influence in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'm praying, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that everything that it requires, Lord God, for us to become only Father whom you have designed our life to be, we pray, oh Lord, you help us to receive all and to have an internal impact, only Father, on the world we have lived in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, our influence will be felt in the name of Amen. Jesus. Holy Spirit, even as we meet tomorrow morning, let your mighty presence rest and abide with us. We pray you keep Amen. us in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. I'm very sorry to you, you, you as a one of the example, uh, Pastor Your mean, please. I just want to challenge people. God will be yes, with sir. us in Jesus' name. Um, thank Amen. you. Pardon me. <laughs> thank yes, you, sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Let's share the grace thank together. You. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, Lord Christ, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit be with us. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall be with us all our lives. And we shall do it in the name of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen.
Thank you. God bless you, sir. Okay. Amen.